we just landed in the western provincial capital city of Hovd. It's about to be a four or five hour drive into the Altai Mountains. Pretty amazing to be here. Uh, really looking forward to this adventure. It's been several years in the making. And I'm here with a couple of great friends and uh, super pumped for this really unique and otherworldly experience. You know, flying over uh, Mongolia today from the capital city to here, uh, it just looked like flying over an alien planet. Getting the last of our provisions together and next time we see each other, it's gonna be up in the mountains. We're just on our way up to Ibex camp. In these lower elevation foothills, we just spotted a couple bands of Argali rams. Not in the budget on this trip, and actually the season just closed October 1st because uh, they're breeding right now. But uh, certainly an absolutely gorgeous opportunity to view beautiful, beautiful Argali ram. And it just uh, gets us even more excited for the adventure ahead. Wild Mongolian Saiga, how cool is that? just spotted our first big group of ibex there's all kinds of them and there's at least six big billies so pretty excited but they're quite a ways you can see they're right in that bowl right around the snow line Good morning. Just uh, at the end of the day last night, we found a big, beautiful ibex on the top of this hill, and uh, kind of we hope we got it pegged. So oh, we're about to just get ourselves organized, and that's probably going to be the first spot that we're going to try this morning. Really nice, wide ibex, dark cape.
pulled it off. It's been a long day and we got it done. Whew. That's amazing. This morning we had a uh, quick opportunity, rush shot, I missed. We've been trying to get on this Ibex all day. I'd say it's probably now about 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon and that shot was probably about 7.30. Finally made it come together, so uh, here we are. Well, fresh Ibex dumplings from uh, the Ibex for the last few days, and these things are absolutely amazing. That's like 900 meters straight up. It's a pretty intimidating piece of ground, but we spotted a group of Ibex here the other day, including a really wide, dark caped, mature billy. We're trying to relocate them now, but the more you look at that terrain, the more you really respect where these animals live and what they're capable of surviving in. Hit him! Hit him! Reload, reload. Hold on. Hit him again. Reload. Take your time, Adrian. He ain't going anywhere. He's done. He's done. Congratulations, man. We got it. Oh, big Ibex, big Ibex down. We've been sitting here for like three hours waiting for him to get up. Yoo-hoo! Oh, it's amazing. Look at the view, look where we are. Western Mongolia, the Altai Mountains. That was a, that was a big Ibex. A big he looks like a big Altai Big, big beautiful yeah. Ibex. Okay, oh. buddy. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to go look at him. Look at that Ibex. He's, oh, I don't even know what to, okay. I don't even know what to say, buddy. He That's doesn't even look real. Look at his mass also. Oh my god.